Namaskaram. So today I have a special recipe coming from Satya over from Chuma Cooking and it's going to be super tasty. So let's listen to the recipe and see what we need to do. Hi Ali Koti, I am so excited for this Chuma Koti cooking session and I'm going to be sharing with you a fish curry recipe or a mean curry recipe which is so good. It is spicy, it is tangy and the fish is so soft and it's best when eaten with some hot white so okay 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 so adhyam enaka chora undakkana so ideally we'd want to use the um chambavari the red rice from kerala but here in vietnam at the indian store you either have basmati rice or we have this uh, tamil pony rice so we'll be using this one So here are all your ingredients. You need 1 inch of ginger, inji, 5 to 6 garlic pods, velutulli. You also need 2 sprigs of curry leaves, kariyapilla, and 2 tablespoons of coconut oil, veli channa. Coconut oil is key to this dish because that's what gives it that amazing flavor. You can use any other oil, but then will it really be a mallu dish? No. So I'll be using the ginger garlic paste and I have the coconut oil. Don't come at me for using parachute. It is edible. And the curry leaves are the curry leaves. I don't have curry leaves. So I forgot the curry leaves, and it was it's evening, and I don't have time. So I called the local spice shop, and they are delivering it now, super fast. So. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, come on. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Then you need a couple of powders. You need 3.5 tablespoons of red chili powder, mulaga padi, and this is what gives you that nice red color and that nice spice. You also need half teaspoon of turmeric powder, manjal padi, and a pinch of methi or fenugreek powder which is uluva padi. Finally, you need two glasses of water, vellum, two pieces of kodampoli, and fun fact: kodampoli gets its name from the shape of the tamarind. And since it's shaped like a pot, kodam, that's why it's called kodampoli. So the Indian spice shop here in, in Hanoi doesn't have the kodampoli that comes from Kerala. Instead, we have this kind of tamarind. And if you know the name of it, please comment below. So I'm going to approximate uh, how much tamarind to use in the curry with a bit of Arjun's advice. <laughs> Mo kap. And finally, you need some uppu, salt to taste. And now we start with our cooking process. You take one patram, a vessel that kind of looks like a kadai with a little deeper base. You add some coconut oil to it, heat that. Add your ginger, your garlic, and your curry leaves, kariyapilla, and then fry together. So don't get too sad, but because curry leaves are from Kerala and India, they're not readily available here. So in order to get them, they come freeze dried. <sighs> don't worry, the the taste is still quite good, even though the aesthetics are still not there. And the smell that you get when you're frying it is amazing. So fry it until it becomes golden brown, and then you can add your masala paste to it. And on low flame, keep stirring it as it cooks until that raw smell, that pachcha madam, goes away. Once that's done, you add your water, your salt, and your kudam puli, and bring it up to a boil. Once it begins boiling, lower the flame, add your fish to it gently. Don't drop it because otherwise it will splash on you. You get ah burnt. So drop it in gently, and then again put it on for a boil. So usually I like to use naemin in the Kerala fish dishes, but um, in this case we're using tilapia. Malayathil tilapia in the Indian pariyu. Once it begins to boil again, put it on a low flame and then let it just simmer until you feel that the fish has been cooked. I think this looks good. Nala mana manda. So that's all. It's very easy. It's very tasty. And if you can get some kappa or steamed tapioca and have it with it, it is 
the perfect dish. Arjuna, Bakshana, Mariana. You didn't then. Mean Tariana. Mark is your good. Real look at it. I know. Marnock, the real run. I know. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Put too much pulley. Too much pulley? It's because I didn't know how much pulley. How much do you put? As, as much as you guessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Satya, for this recipe. I think once we figure out the tamarinds, it'll be super perfect. So thank you so much. It was tasty and it was easy. Thank you, Ali Kutti. This was, I hope you like this recipe and I can't wait to try your recipe. By the way, it's always great to finish off a meal with some. Tire! <laughs>